Parliament has passed a bill to block no deal on Halloween. The eyes to the right, 327. The nose to the left, 299. But Boris Johnson could still manage to take the UK out of the EU on time if he plays his cards right. So what options does he have left? The defiant PM Boris Johnson has said he'd rather be dead in a ditch than delay leaving the EU. This government will not delay Brexit any further. We will not allow the emphatic verdict of the referendum to be slowly suffocated by further calculated drift and paralysis. And after Brexit coordinator for the European Parliament, Guy Verhofstadt, announced that a Brexit extension would be unacceptable, or might not be lost yet. The bill, introduced by Labour MP Hilary Benn, states that Boris might have to request an extension to Article 50 on October 19th. It says he must write a letter on that day to Donald Tusk. It specifies the wording that he must use in the letter to apply for an extension. I'm very, very concerned and troubled by the fact the Prime Minister is going up and down the country saying that he will never ask for an extension. Either we have the rule of law in this country or we don't unless MPs approve a Brexit deal in another meaningful vote, or if MPs, by some twist of fate, decide to back a no deal. So, what if none of these options happen? Well, potentially Boris could do just what the bill sets out and write a letter to the President of the European Council asking for the delay. And of course, the PM could refuse to write it or sign it himself, but there's also something else he could do. Dubbed Boris's secret plan, he could try and get the EU to refuse his request for a Brexit delay. This would mean sending off another letter along with the extension request, which sets out his political policy, making it clear that the government doesn't want to delay past October 31st. If Boris states this in his letter, it could make it possible for EU bosses to refuse the extension, and if they do, Boris could be back in the driving seat. But can the EU refuse to grant extensions? Yes, they can. In fact, all 27 member countries would have to agree to the delay, and it's a possibility that they might not. What about if Boris ignores the new bill altogether and tries to leave anyway? We're in quite extraordinary territory when the Prime Minister says he is above the law. Well, he'd trigger a legal and constitutional crisis. Foreign Secretary Dominic Raab has said the government will test the law, forcing a Brexit delay to the limit. We will adhere to the law, but we'll also, because this is such a bad piece of legislation, the, the surrender bill that Jeremy Corbyn backed, we we'll also want to test to the limit what it does actually lawfully require. So this could end up in the courts. And if a judge ordered him to obey Parliament, Boris could be held in contempt or even jailed if he refused.